Hi everyone, I'm going to show you how to draw the 3D shuttle, Imperial shuttle using Tinkercad. First, uh, if you're watching this video from Blackboard, you can open two tabs like what we do in the classroom. Okay, want to watch the video, pause it and come to this tab to do the work. Uh, after a step, then you can move back to Blackboard, watch a few minutes, pause it, and come back to here to continue your work. Step one, to do the Imperial Shuttle, you need to use a box. Drag the box to the workplace, workspace. Um, here you can put 80 mm, 80 mm, and for the height, you can use 10 mm so it's 80 80 times 10 okay we can put a ruler here and you can have a clearer picture 80 80 and the height is 10 okay. this part is done you can leave it somewhere near the end uh, the next step is to create bring in a polygon okay for this polygon i want to use this side uh, so what we do is we turn this 90 degree. After that, I want you to turn another 90 degree. Then increase, increase to somewhere, let's say, put this as 60. Mm. And now you need to use alignment tools, which is you need to select polygon, hold down your shift key and select the box. Point your mouse to this align, icon align, click on it. Now both will be select now, now both are selected. Choose center. Okay, this this is for the polygon to move the center so we prefer the polygon to move to the end so you can choose the end and then center now you can see uh, two objects are aligned properly next step again use back the polygon but this time i want you to make the polygon flat okay Let's say um, 4 mm. Now you can see this 4 mm. Uh, turn 90 degree and now place it somewhere here in the middle. Okay, so in order to adjust easily, okay, click on the black color dot to move the things, this object up. Okay. So I want to align. I want you to align this to the end. Um, the same method. Hold down your shift key and select the second object for alignment. Then click align. Okay, align to the. Let, let's look at this diagram here. Okay, align to the back and the center. Do you notice the polygon has been aligned properly? Okay, the next, uh, the next job, uh, next item. I want you to use this wedge. Okay. Um, let's change this to another color. Okay. And I want you to turn ninety degree. Ninety degree. Reduce the width of this object. Um, you can make it to 6 mm or even 6 to 8 will be fine. Uh, you can make this bigger. Mm. And the next is to move in a box. Now we, we need to cut 
this object we cut the this area we drag another box lift the box up and we are going to cut this this area okay let's check both align properly and you're ready to do a cut by selecting all three objects holding down your shift key and click on the all three objects you uh, for those who are new uh, you may not know that uh, group is for cutting objects in Tinkercad okay once you group you see object being cut okay now I want you to move this object up here okay now you can see um, this is too actually a too too thick doesn't look nice it become 12 when I drag it just now you can reduce back to 7 and I want you to align it using the same alignment tool drag it up take your time adjust your view uh, if you make a mistake just press ctrl Z on uh, PC if you are using a Mac command Z now same method hold down your shift key and you may adjust it using align tools align to the center and align to the back now you can see it has been aligned properly and we are ready to create the wing for this uh, shuttle to create the wing we use back the same piece okay let's click somewhere else to deselect it okay after that i want you to select only the yellow color wing okay press ctrl d to duplicate okay then drag it out i want you to make this wing a bit uh, i want to make it bigger hold down you you may okay do not need to hold down the shift key we can adjust again okay i want you to make the wing bigger bigger uh, okay about this area should be 80 80 mm. now we turn to this angle you have to do two turn first turn is 90 degree turn release and then you turn again for another 45 degree okay done okay you can put this the wing down uh, to put it down to the workspace press D okay almost ready we need to make a box use a box a rectangular shape so that we can uh, create something for this to hook properly again is zero for the length turn to this angle and check maybe 12 drag it up and then align properly you can manually align this and do a, to do a precise alignment you adjust snap grid to 0.1 mm and you can use the left and right key on your keyboard to do the adjustment okay uh, this is easy this is very simple bring this up Okay, 
adjust again, move to the right. A little bit more. Yes, it is almost done. You may want to group this wing by selecting the two objects and the group icon. Since you have created the right wing, you are not required to do the left wing one by one because we have a function here. Select the right wing, choose flip, and actually you can see there's M bracket M because it's also known as mirror. Once you click the M, you click the front. Okay, actually it, it, it swap into the left wing. So let me control Z first. That's one thing I want to show is before you flip, you duplicate the wing, duplicate the wing by pressing Command D. If you are using a Mac, if not Control D, if you are using a PC, click the flip and choose the one in front. You get a left wing now. Okay, you got a left wing. For this part, the center part of the ship. You can also group them. By grouping them, it is easier for you to lift the ship. Okay. Now align the left wing and the right, uh, right wing to the body. Okay, again, you may want to use alignment tool if you want to adjust quickly. Select two objects, align them. Yep. One more time. I check again. Yep, now it's perfect. Perfectly aligned. Okay. The next thing we are going to do is the head of this plane. Okay, to create the head of this plane, uh, you have to use a pyramid. Okay, you can adjust the size of the pyramid, increase the size, increase the width, and change the, side, uh, the sides to six sides. Uh, move um, 90 degree. Turn left 90 degree. After you turn, there's one thing you need to check is the flat side need to be parallel. So if it's not parallel, what you need to do is to turn. Okay, you can see if you're turning at this in, in here, the computer will give you a minimum 22.5 degree turn. But if you move your mouse up, it will give you um, more choices. Okay, one degree at a time. Okay. Once the flat surface have been uh, adjusted properly, okay. Now, now you can see. I want. I just want the, the surface to be flat. Okay. And we are ready to do another cut. This time, okay, one small box in front. One more box behind, uh, not really behind, it's actually below. And we need to do some adjustment. Lift it up and do a left turn. How many degree is not very important. The most important is you have to cut uh, above this line. Okay, cut above this line. Uh, if cannot, you have to move it up, but I recommend you to increase the height of this first. 
increase more then bring it down and then adjust okay we can put down for put it um, make it thicker one is properly cover everything including the bottom area here you can cut the object by selecting the three objects and do a cut now we have to um, create a um, cockpit area which is the area for the pilot to see it it's simple uh, duplicate the object command D or Control T depends on PC or Mac. And one box you put in front. Uh, one more box you put behind. Okay, this is fine. So I will just merge and do a cut. For this area, I'll change it to a darker color, easier for us to see when we combine the two objects. Okay, if you want a proper alignment, you may want to use the alignment tool. Okay, uh, Control Z. I think manual adjustment will be better here. Just select left, right, left, right. Done. Select both object and you can fix it. Uh, fix it to the body. Okay, but um, before you fix to the body, you may want to add a neck in between. Okay, this neck can be something um, flat, maybe a little bit longer. Leave it up. Okay. So you see, sometimes you may, you may want to change the camera view uh, before you attach an object because it may be blocked by uh, different thing okay for this triangle i will just use my uh, key arrow keys on my keyboard to do the adjustment and for this, uh, do, do not forget, you need to select both object because we do, did not uh, combine them yet. Okay. Now we have combined. Okay. Put the head um, 22 degree. Is it too much? If you think it's too much, you can adjust again. Uh, one degree at a time. and then put on the right angle I use my keyboard to adjust I think this is good for me it's good just increase a little bit just make it a little bit higher hmm. just reduce uh, I think there is too much Okay, fine. Okay, uh, that's it. So this exercise, you have uh, practice how to group, how to ungroup it. Ungroup is simple. You just select, click this, you can ungroup and do adjustment again. Uh, to do alignment, uh, we learned before, but you did not practice it. You all did not practice it uh, a lot. So this in this exercise, you need to do a few alignment. And it's the first time you see the mirror tool. Uh, try to learn how to use mirroring uh, in future. It is very useful to do complicated object design. 
Okay, that's all. You can practice this again uh, by yourself. If you have any problem, okay, come to me during your uh, lesson. Okay, thank you, everyone.